What is up, man? 25 gamers. Welcome to this week's offensive scheme of the week. And in today's video, we're using the Seattle Seahawks this week. And the uh, playbook we're going to be in is the Minnesota playbook. And we're going to have a really nice base formation coming up for you right now. So let's hop into this. Uh, in the Minnesota playbook, it's almost imperative to set your audibles. We will have a tutorial, um, or excuse me, we'll have a custom playbook on the Madden share for you by the end of the week that you can set your quick audibles through. Um, but the trips tied in, what we like to do is we like to come out and it flipped. And the play we like to come out in um, is the uh, the halfback wheel. And this is one of the plays that was really effective last year and is still one of the most effective plays in the game this year. Uh, one of the things I like about the trips tied in is it automatically gives you a quick tell on what your opponent's in. Here they're in two men under. Um, and you see that if we want to run, we're going to have our quick audible set up properly. We're going to show you how to do that. We're actually just going to show you right now what audibles we'll have. Uh, let me hop into, uh, I think it's practice options. Nope, it's game options. Hop into game options, custom audibles. And what we're going to have out of this trips uh, is we're going to set our LB audible is going to be our halfback, uh, our halfback counter. Our RB audible is going to be our quick base. Our triangle audible is going to be our um, slot swing. And then our quick pass up audible uh, based on your decision, if you like the PA slot corner, we've already broken it down a lot, um, but I'm going to place the slot screen uh, right in that position there. Okay, so that's our quick audibles. Just imagine them flipped for right now. We'll get into them in a moment. But basically, we're going to automatically have a tell as to what we want to do. So here, you, you don't need any hot routes to run this play, and the first read on this play is pretty simple. If they're in man-to-man -man coverage, the running back route, um, is going to be good, but as you saw there, this is why we have a tell of what we want to do at the snap of the ball. Because with this guy sitting out here like this, this is not going to be a nice read uh, for two men under. It's a cornerback on a running back. I wonder who's going to win that matchup, you know? So the idea here is if we see this cornerback sitting out here like so, then we're going to make a quick adjustment uh, to this play. Typically, when we see that alignment, like what we've got here, we're going to quickly, uh, let me call a timeout, let me get back out of this and then come back in. Um, we're going to quickly audible to one of our other plays that we have in our quicks because the alignment gives us a really good look uh, to attack this defense. So what we'll do is we'll audible to our counter, and now we have a numbers game advantage. We have four versus their three, and you see we're off to the races here. Uh, with Marshawn Lynch and a lot of times you're gonna break a lot of good runs guys a lot of people don't like to base align this season um, because of the fact that it you know it, this game's a lot more about a coverage based defense than pressure because of the way the play action blocking works in this game so the ability to have that quick counter in our audibles quickly go to it and, and snap go and we'll be able to be very effective now if we want to throw the halfback wheel against this, then we're just going to make a quick, uh, we're just going to check out of the wheel. The wheel is not going to be a major read on this play. So the first read we'll show you is uh, Sidney Rice uh, coming across. We like to playmaker him uh, upfield and uh, like to beat man to man coverage that way. If he doesn't already beat it based off of his route, because sometimes, and also what you can do is just snap him quick, quick one step motion snap, and, uh, or excuse me, one step motion snap, and there you go, you get that position. So definitely easily able to beat man-to-man -man that way. Second read is the wheel route to Golden Tate here. I uh, just like to click onto it and undercut it. Very simple user catch, something we've been doing many, many times this year already. Um, the third read is going to be this deep in route uh, to Miller. And I uh, really like that route. It gets great separation against man. In routes are very underestimated this year. And then the last uh, read, the main read we're going to look here is to get this user catch with Percy Harvin and obviously we'll have a different depth chart for this team but you know just for right now we're just showing you the plays and then if we want to late downfield if nothing's open nothing's open nothing's open we can make that user catch to Lynch if we want to we can try to throw that up maybe get a one-on-one -on -one. yes it is a defensive back there yes he is 6'5 but the idea is normally you won't even have to go to that but if you do um, it's normally like on a lot you know, they got straight faggy. You see it's going to get over the top there. So, wanted to show you that. The running here, um, if they base the line, and this is how we're going to run our, our main offense, if they base the line, this is now a really good look for the 45 quick base. And so we'll just quick snap that quick base and run right up the middle and really destroy 
the defense that way. So two easy running plays that they really have to guard against. Otherwise, we're going to get really big yardage. And with the way that how good these Seahawks are when running the ball, uh, this is just a very easy... It's just a very easy uh, play. Now, what we'll do, what eventually they'll start doing is they'll take Browner here and they'll slide him in, maybe shift the linebacker over, get some more balance to that side of the field. Now, once they start doing this, that's going to open up that immediate halfback wheel route um, with the pass lead up, and you're just trying to get it over the guy, like we showed you earlier. All right, the next play I want to go over is the slot screen. Uh, we like to use this against. You know, and you could just throw it to the slot if you wanted to. It actually gets pretty decent blocking. Um, what I like to do with this play is actually make it a halfback screen. So I'll put RB on a little swing pass, and then I'll take, um, and that's really the only adjustment I'll do. And literally, that's my first read is to hit RB and go. I like to leave the slot screen on. Uh, and another thing you can do is motion. Um, you can actually motion uh, Lynch over, like so, and then snap. The cool part about it is if you try to put him on a wheel, he'll go on an out. See that? He's always going to be on an out. There we get him on a swing. There's the wheel. And so you can just try to play this game and, and you know, use quick screens and stuff like that. Wheel left, wheel right combinations. Not really any other read on that. Um, if they do use the screen, which you will see sometimes, what I like to do in that situation and I like to play a user catch game down the field with Miller. Pass lead him to the inside. And actually we threw it a little early there. But if you pass lead him to the inside like right before, like a little bit before that. Let's see if we can get some good timing here. But normally he'll get some super good inside position here because of the alignment. So right there, pass lead to the inside. And sometimes he'll just, you know, normally you won't have to have, you won't even have to do that. But what, what we're saying is... Say they're using, they're going to bring Thomas down like so, or they're going to do this. Now say they see the screen, so to mimic that, we're going to put him on a flat zone to that side of the field. He's going to leave. You're going to have a one-on-one -on -one over top if they try to use the screen. So they use the screen, and now all of a sudden we got a one-on-one -on -one over top. We could just pass lead up this and play a user catch game one-on-one -on -one with, uh, you know, whoever. So sometimes that's an option. And then if you wanted to, another thing you could do with this is if you don't trust that fade route, which I don't really trust it sometimes because of what you just saw, then you could just leave him on that streak. And when he lights up, just lob it up, and he'll just beat Browner sometimes. Obviously, we may recommend a depth chart substitution with a faster tight end in that situation. But the idea is if they're using the screen, you want to make them pay. And then in the last play I want to show you guys out of this formation is a slot swing. What we like to do with this play is we like to put Lynch on a wheel route. We like to put uh, Miller on an in route or a slant or whatever uh, you want to do there. We like to slide protect to the left. This is a, a play we used last year. We like to motion Lynch to the right. Um, oh, wait. No, we can't motion him to the right. We want to put him on a swing to the right. I'm sorry. Act like we're running the slot screen, and this time we're just going to bail out with Wilson. And a lot of times against two man under... It's a very effective. It's a very effective play play call because a lot of times we're running the slot screen. We're running the slot screen, so they're going to start putting guys over there to stop that little slot screen that's really natting them for five, six yards at a time. And then if we go to the slot swing and we maybe make some adjustments. So what I like to do is put Tate on an in route uh, and put Harvin on a deep out, Miller on an in route to create a little mesh. Swing Lynch, and then you're gone outside the back end with Wilson. And if they're in man-to-man -man coverage, this is very effective. Um, I think Relly is the guy who showed that last season. It's still very effective this year. Another thing you can do with the slot swing route if you want to, bubble routes are very effective in this game for some reason. So you could maybe actually set up just a regular play. But the idea here is just to hit that bubble route and, and get upfield. It's pretty effective if they're playing off coverage. But it's you know it's not the bread and butter. The bread and butter is these running plays based off alignment and also the halfback wheel. Real quick, let's show you a read against zone. If they're in zone coverage, a lot of times they'll base align that. So that'll mean you get this look. And so if we're running halfback wheel against zone, obviously here we could just run the quick base. But if you know just hypothetically running against zone, uh, your first read in this situation would be uh, Lynch to the flat and then Rice. So Lynch to the flat's not open. So we're gonna take Sidney Rice over the middle and quick, quick positive yards. 
And then, um, real quick, uh, we'll look at this again. And then I remember our second read is Golden Tate. Um, a lot of times he won't be open, but you can pass lead that up and try to try to make a user catch underneath it. Another thing you could do, remember our third read um, is to the in route to Miller. A lot of times this will be open, just pass lead him down, and you're just going to you know try to user catch that. But the main idea here, um, zone probably does the best job of stopping all the things we could do from this. But it's still going to get torched uh, late. This deep post route, and that's why you need a good pass rush like the Seahawks on your side so that you can maybe get some pressure. With still, You still need to have a balanced coverage because we'll show you what happens against a blitz in a moment. But the idea here is Rice is going to go deep, 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 and then pass lead down to the inside, and he's just going to, or excuse me, Harvin, and just roast that zone over the top. Now, if they do blitz... Um, real quick, that's just why we have both wheel routes. So here we'll bl we'll br send a two-way pressure off of the edges, and that's why you have those wheel routes as quick reads, because if you're in trouble, you need to have that bailout wheel route that you can always hit uh, if they're not honoring the flats. And if they are honoring the flats, then that means the drag is going to be open. If the drags are, if the drags open, or excuse me, if the drag is covered, then that means you know, you're going to have something else open. There's just a lot of stuff to cover in this play. It takes away a lot of, you know, options for the defense, really. Here, we're going to hit the drag. They tried to go cover two on us to take the wheels away, and you see the, the effectiveness of that. So three quick reads at the snap allow you to do this. So thanks for watching today. This is the Trips Tight End. If you could do me a favor and retweet this video for me, I'd really appreciate it. Tomorrow, we're going to be talking about the base man beater from this formation or this playbook. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. This trip's tied in one of the best base plays in Madden 25, and I would appreciate it if you guys leave a like rating and let me have let me know any questions you have on this and give me your feedback on the commentary and the play. Thanks for watching, guys. See you tomorrow.